This is the story of an athlete named Kevin Proctor, who you see on your screen. It's also the story of his vaping during halftime of his team's match and the consequences he now faces. This comes after he bit an opponent in his sport of rugby in August of 2020. He was suspended for four weeks by the National Rugby League. Proctor's team, the Gold Coast Titans, where he has been a member for five seasons, made the call earlier today. According to ESPN Proctor, a 33-year-old veteran and former captain of the team has been sacked by the Titans. It took many by surprise. In Australia, vaping is completely banned in stadiums and National Rugby League players are not permitted to use their phones during a match. Proctor in essence broke two policies in one video. ABC.net called the move stunning, adding it came at halftime of a match Proctor did not play in but was suited up and in uniform for. In a now deleted Instagram story in his own page, Proctor can be seen vaping inside a cubicle at the venue at halftime of the Titans 36-26 loss. The video was uploaded with the caption, not the halftime vape. With Proctor Proctor inhaling and then shaking his head with the Titans down 26-10 at the time. ABC also wrote the video believed to be taken within a toilet cubicle inside the Titans dressing room. Personally, as someone who follows sports in the States, we have seen reports of NBA players smoking ganj just after the game. Former NBA player turned entrepreneur Al Harrington said 85% of the players in the NBA smoke, bro, or use some type of cannabis. It's a safe and alternative way to deal with stuff which is more than understandable. Many reports have indicated that players do partake, but they have remained tight-lipped on whether this occurs during the game, during a bathroom break, during halftime, what have you, and who could blame them. However, it appears Proctor posted on his own accord to, in essence, clout chase and outed himself. Odd. Come Monday morning, Proctor was not at the Titans headquarters, but was notified by the club he would be fined close to $15,000 and he would not be welcome back to play or train. His actions were in breach of both NRL and stadium regulations, Gold Coast said in a statement. Sadly, this season has been a flat out struggle for the New Zealand international who's 33 years old. A premiership winner in Melbourne in 2012 and Kiwi Test star, Proctor was a big name signing for the Titans when he arrived in 2017. He was also named as the club's co-captain at the time, a role he later held until the end of last year. ESPN wrote, Proctor, an NRL championship winner with the Storm in 2012, has been penalized multiple times for off-field issues since joining the Titans in 2017. He was axed from New Zealand's Rugby League World Cup squad in 2017 after being caught on video snorting a white substance outside a Canberra nightclub with international teammate Jesse Bromwich in 2020. He was banned for four matches by the NRL judiciary for biting Sean Johnson, although both he and Johnson said... The incident was unintentional. Off contract at the end of this year, Proctor had not featured in a Titans game since round nine and was unlikely to be re-signed for next year. Per The Guardian, the incident involving a senior player again raises the issue of culture at the NRL club who have lost their last eight. They sit above only West Tigers. To reiterate, it appears his career is at a crossroads. He is a free agent at season's end and does not have a deal in place. This was, it appears, a brutal setback for him. Now here's the other part of this. The team that Proctor plays for is an Australian club. Vaping has become a hot button issue. Here's the latest. Recently, the National Tobacco Strategy proposed additional measures to further restrict the marketing availability and use of all e-cig components. Australia is already the only Western democracy to require a nicotine prescription to vape. Vaping is framed as a threat to public health rather than an opportunity to improve it.